guys, it's Ozzy Grimm with the Gamers Grimm. And uh, today we are gonna do something a little bit different from the channel. Um, I started my Fallout 4 playthrough a couple of months ago and wasn't even gonna put it on YouTube because uh, I was just doing some random Starfield videos and it really wasn't that big of a deal. And a friend of mine convinced me to maybe put some of my shorts uh, from Fallout 4 up on YouTube, and they've done fairly well. Uh, so I I can't say that I didn't enjoy playing it, but I've played the game through. Uh, all I have really left to do is collect bobbleheads and magazines, and I've played enough Fallout 4 in the last nine years that I'm not going to go and do that. But one game that I haven't played in a very long time is Fallout New Vegas. And I figured if there was ever a time to do a Fallout New Vegas playthrough, it would be 14 years after the game launched. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play uh, good old-fashioned Fallout New Vegas. Uh, been a long time since I played, but we're going to we're going to start a new game. And we're going to go with it. Uh, I kind of remember how to play a lot of the stuff in this game. I played probably one of my most favorite games that I've ever played uh, is New Vegas. And so I have played a lot of this game. So I know how to do things. We're going to probably do a little bit of a game guide. I'm going to show you guys how to start a really good game here in New Vegas. Uh, so you can just kick butt throughout the, the entirety of your playthrough. Such a good uh, opening sequence with this game. The Legion. And there he is, good old fashioned Benny. War. War never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values. Of I would have a face cam on, guys, but I don't have a very good camera. My camera's from like 2007. Grew, so did its needs. So I don't have any lighting. Scouts but we'll make it work seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert they returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River the NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition but across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. 
You got what you were after, so pay up. Boy. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Go ahead and skip the credits. We don't need that. Yeah, oh yeah, all the crap you get. You're awake. How about that? Mm hmm. As awake. Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Uh, let's put in the name. Ozzy Grimm. All right. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if oh, that's well. your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, mm -hmm. but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. <coughs> oh, goodness. How'd I do? Well, I am male. Next. Ugh. Well, yeah. I'm a little older. I'm not going to lie to myself. I'm a 40-year-old man. Hairstyle. I'm certainly not bald. Yeah, we'll go with smooth wave. Hair color, it's brown. Facial hair. That's my beard right there. Not gonna spend too much time on this. Yep, that's me. I got the beard. That's all that really matters. Right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Yeah, all right. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Okay, yeah. Take that's where we're going to be now. putting in the good... It ain't a race. The, the good stuff. Yeah, I'm going to be getting that. Yeah, I'm going to steal all his stuff. Stuff that's worth stealing. You looking good so far. All right, let's do this. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. All right, let's see we'll if I learn right how to quick do this. if you get back all your faculties. All right, strength is three. Yep. And then perception we go up to eight. Explosive lockpick, energy weapons, accuracy, compass range. I think we go eight into that. And then endurance goes back down to three. And charisma, we dump. Barter, speech, companion nerve. Eh, I think we go to one there. Intelligence, we go to ten. Agility, we go to nine. And then luck, we take down to three. So that we can make our, is it our perception? No, it's our agility. We make 10 because endurance 
Endurance is the one that we get back up to five. Charisma is our dump stat. We don't need any charisma. Because we're going to put a point into perception as soon as we level up. Because we're going to get that to ten. And then what we do is, is we'll be able to... Um, what, what do we do? Is it endurance? If I remember correctly, you get a point from Lonesome Road, and then that's one of the ones that we put in first. So we want that strength to be four. And then we do perception to nine. And then the first point that we put in is ten points into perception. And the next point that we get from our level, we put into endurance. That way we can, we can buy five uh, of the uh, implants. And we, can, we get one from Lonesome Road, so we can put in, we get an endurance implant. We get, a, uh, get one from Lonesome Road, and then we can get a strength implant and uh yeah i believe that's i think i did it right so strength will end up being five which is what we want strength will end up being five so we got a decent carry rate perception will be maxed out so our lock picks and explosives and energy weapons will be maxed out and then we'll be able to put we'll have five endurance our charisma will always not be great, but it's not that big a deal. But endur intelligence has to be 10. Agility doesn't have to be 10. I think I can take one out of there. Let me put one in there because we want, we want a little bit of luck. So, yeah, I think that's what we want. 4, 9, 3, 1, 10, 9, 4. Because we can put points into perception. We could put points into strength and endurance. And then we get implants for perception and agility, as well as strength and endurance. And we can get a pretty reasonable stat loadout. And everything will be maxed. If we do it properly, every single skill will be maxed out by like level 20 or 25. Because I'm going to get like 18 or 19 skill points every time we level up. And with, I, I already know exactly. Look at that. Yep, I'm super smart. Them bullets done your brain some good. Yep, they well, did. We know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter than a big one to drop. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? Yeah, so yeah, let's do that. All right. Dog. Dog, cat, house, shelter, Night. campfire, bribe, Light. dark, uh, caretaker, blah, 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 okay. blah. No opinion. No opinion. No opinion. No opinion. No opinion. No opinion. That's I, I don't care because I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put the ones in there that I want. We don't want speech. We want repair, and we want we don't want sneak. We want explosives, guns, explosives, and repair. Because we're about to do a thing. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Uh-huh. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. So skilled, for sure. And then I think we do trigger discipline. Yeah, see... And there we go. Trigger discipline is a gangster. The accuracy is well worth it. And skilled is well worth it as well. All right. I guess that about does it. 
Come with me. I'll see you out. Now we're going to rob him blind of everything he has. Well, not everything. The stuff that's worth stealing. I think some of the stuff is in the back rooms. No, 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 no. We don't want to go over there. I think we can repair this now. Yeah, we get that. Take that. It's light. We'll go over here. I'm trying to remember. Yeah. Uh huh. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. No, we're not doing survival. There we go. Rebound, steady, stim packs. Steady, stim packs. Cram, cram. Sugar bombs, nice. I want that knife. There we go. Uh, let's see. Anything else Doc Mitchell has got that I can steal that's worth stealing? Oh, cigarettes. Braxo cleaner. Flower. <coughs> Goodness. I think those are about all the things that are worth stealing in Doc Mitchell's house or taking from me. I don't think it really counts as stealing. So we'll, uh, yeah. Uh, yep, apparel. I know how that works. I'm going to go with minus agility. We don't want that. Oh, goodness gracious. That's very sensitive. It's got eight. And uh, let's. That. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so we'll head out now. It's time to head out the door. Door to Good Springs. Let's go. <clears throat> wow, it's been so many years since I played this, and yet I, al I re already remember one of the, what I want to do. Like, the first thing I want to do is... Uh, run over to the schoolhouse and get the ingredients that I need. <laughs> so that I don't have to come back. Because if I remember correctly, there's a... That we need right here. Oh, you gotta love those jumping mechanics. Tobacco, yep. Tobacco. This is that one dude's house. I don't think steal it counts as stealing from here either. So you take. Be able to sell a bunch of shit. Get you some good money from the start. Energy sale. Yeah, this is at uh, Robot's house. Ooh, it's been so long. Good grief. Yeah, that's uh, stealing there. Mess with our karma right away. All right, so I think I need to go talk to the girl at the saloon and do her quest line. I'm 
that she gives me a weapon. I think we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and go in here with this guy, and we'll sell. Start our selling. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching. Uh huh. The way I heard it, I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but damned if. <laughs> in the miscellaneous section. Did he say that? Da, da, da. Another satisfied customer. Uh huh. Goodbye. Then we go to the saloon. Already almost got a thousand caps in my pocket. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. <sighs> yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. You got it, kiddo. Let's go. You do four strength because you'll be wearing power armor at a certain point and you'll have six strength. So your carry weight will be great. We're going to augment those two. We'll be at five. And our first, one of the first points we're going to take is in endurance so that we can have up to four implants. For those who don't know, uh, your implants are limited by the number of uh how much endurance you have. So if you have three endurance, you can have three implants. If you have 10 endurance, you can have 10 implants. But I don't think you can do all 10. I think it's not even pointless because endurance, the endurance implant doesn't count towards the number. So. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Oh, well, I suck. That's the right idea. Look down the site. Ooh, boy, this is sensitive. Start crouching down and staying still. Nice shot. All right, how do I crouch? Nope, that's not how I do that. That's not that's not how you do that. How do I get out of this? Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Uh, yeah. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. All right, let's Follow go. Me. I'm not gonna use this weapon, but what I will use is this very nice caravan shotgun. Boy, I gotta, what, how do I crouch? That is vats, that's vats. Okay, that's how you crouch. All right, that's how you do that. Let's jump. That's that. Let's activate. That's how you change the camera. Yeah, obviously aim down sights. All right, let's go do this.
Riveting gameplay. What do you... Oh, I forgot they do. They have mega jank in Fallout New Vegas with the way they move. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? Bunch of blow. Let's see if we... Nah, I'm just going to save. Save. Got some old save games in here. I did... Uh, I did start a game like two years ago or something so that's probably what that is got him oh my goodness I suck oh there we go gotta get gotta get the uh Get that gecko meat and that gecko egg. Talk to Sunny Smiles. See? We're beginning to hang up. There's two. Sure, I'll come with you. Come with me. Get that, uh. Get that gecko meat. Once we get our survival high enough, we can cook it. We can cook it. <laughs> Now, with this build, it seems counterintuitive, but you'll be able to max out everything. Survival, rifles, it doesn't matter. Gotta love yourself a caravan shotgun. Bleed, yeah, that's where you get the shovel. Always pick up the shovel when you get here. You're going to need it after a bit. Where did the hell did she go? Get us a drink of water. That's what I thought. She went there. She's stuck over here. Now that was some good work. Here's a little one more thing I wanted to show. Thought I might Couldn't hurt. Let's do right it. Then. Let me think now. I know I've seen rock flowers grow. <coughs> yeah, I know. I gotta go up to the graveyard. Which is way the hell over there. I think it's up by that water tower. Over by the water tower. If I remember correctly, there's also a dude here. Somewhere. Who tries to trick you. Maybe it's further that way. Who the hell is this guy? That's a damn. That's a Another powder. One smokes again. That's a powder ganger. What the hell is he doing way over here? Oh yeah, that's part of that quest that's coming up. I wonder if I could kill him now and it would just not be part of the. He won't be part of the, the group. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Riveting. We'll head up to the graveyard and we'll get our Brock flowers. Pretty sure.
Oh, you gotta love it. He did. He did. Where the hell's he going? Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, yeah, snow globes. That's good money. That's good money. did pick up our shovels so we can dig up some graves because that's a thing you do some bot fly meat oh yeah the whole reason we came up here was for uh, Brock flowers boom We did it! I think we can fast travel from here. Down to, oh. Boy, this is sensitive. Go to the Gold Spring source. Talk to our girl. She'll teach us how to cook some stuff. Let me see what you got. All right, now. Go on over. Yeah, let's make some healing powder. Okay, yep. You hit that button instead. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right... Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. Mm -hmm. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. All right, let's do it. I think I get to fix her radio. Bong. I think there's a dude that's going to try to trick us. I think we should just go ahead and do it. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Hey, buddy. Hello? Can you help me? Yeah, what's wrong? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Don't worry. I'll go save the her. Pass the broken radio tower and go to the right. They're at the... You will? Yeah, I will. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Let's blow some shit up. Travel onward. I think that's uh that's that's Xander Root. We want that. <clears throat> Ooh, where I love heavy weapons in Fallout 4. Explosions in Fallout New Vegas are the best.
he died. Oh, I hurt myself. All right, there's our first level up. And what we'll do is uh, explosives will go 45. Guns will go 45. Wait, how many did we get? That's what that's what I remember. I... Mm. So medicine to thirty. Repair to forty five. Science to thirty. Go to survival to twenty, because survival is useful, but medicine's at 30, lockpick 30, guns 45, and then we'll just, yeah, there we go, and then, uh, if I remember, intense training, that's what we want, because we don't care about reload right now. We don't care about offsetting our thing. And then light touch. So we want intense training. And then we put that into endurance. Because so again, we want that extra health and extra implants when the time comes. What am I doing? Get up, you goofball. I don't want to sell that. Uh. Yeah, I think we did it. He's probably going to run up on us soon. Yeah, there he is. Sorry, I tricked you. <laughs> Idiot. <sighs> Some people. So we did that. I think we go straight back to Good Springs, talk to the lady, start that whole mess of things. Oh, it's so sensitive. This is going to be talking to this 
dipshit in here. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? What an ass. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? Oh, don't worry. Don't you worry, you fucking turd. We're, we're going to get you soon enough. All right, let's go talk to this gal. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Show me what you have for sale. Um, you like. Let's get all those... Oh, goodness. Oh, excuse me. Let's see. Uh, anything we can sell to her that we don't want. Yeah, we want all your stuff, lady. We want as much of your stuff as we can get our grubby little hands on. Already over a thousand caps. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Yeah. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station on yep. the hill. <clears throat> what are you guys gonna do Some about it? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gang. Chain gangs, really. Yeah. Yep. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. <clears throat> you mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Let's talk about something else. All right. Trying to attack other people right. who attacked me, man. Who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Mm -hmm. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. All right, that's the way we go. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the end. There'd be caps in it for you. Yep, yep, I'm gonna fix it. Would you like to hear what's going on in the world? And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Goodbye. Be Repair the radio. Feeling thirsty? Fix your radio. Yeah. It turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Thanks for the caps. You're so can I get you anything? Goodbye. Be careful out there. All right. So we got through the first, like, the tutorial area, and I think we have uh, a quest that we got to do. Let's go talk to Ringo up at the gas station.
Man, it's been so long. This game still looks good. I don't care. Even unmodded, this game just, it has such a good feeling to it. Get that sunset sarsaparilla. That's close enough. Who are you? What do you want with me? I'm Gary Busey. <laughs> Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan. You know how to play? Mm. Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I... I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance. Maybe we I can just help. end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board, start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. I think I can get uh, the one guy to join in because uh, I have high explosives. Whiskey. Fusion battery. I don't remember why, but I always needed those. What do we got up here? What do we got up here? Looks like, looks like maize. That's eatable. That's eatables. Let's get our health up. Remember correctly, there's also some stuff in the schoolhouse. The maze has worn off. Where is the schoolhouse? Where is it at? Where is it at? That's Doc Mitchell's house. Looking for the red. Yeah, there it is. I'm gonna go over there. I don't remember exactly why I need to go there, but there's stuff there. I need to uh, switch weapons, because I think we have, yeah, we have 158 10 millimeter. <coughs> and that's the way to go. I don't think I could use any of these yet, but we'll see. Oh, what were we? Yeah, there's stuff in here we can. Now, if I remember, it's the same as before. It's two out of seven. All right, so we will. Should take away one. There's two out of seven for rebuild. Right, let's do what we normally do. It's just super boring, but it's worth doing.
so many words this early in the game. Go through line by line, get our brackets. So it was two of seven was rebuild. So that's what I thought. Yeah, the system accessed. Disengage lock. That's a bottle cap, mint hat, Nuka Cola, Super Stin Pack, wine, the Stealth Boy. That's good money. Nice. Got the goods. Got the goods. Don't need an ashtray. Don't need an ashtray. This is crazy. Wonder glue sells good. Cherry bomb sells good. Believe we got everything we can get out of the schoolhouse with that uh, safe. So, okay, so we go talk to Sunny Smiles. Believe we can get her to help. I think if we have a high enough explosive, we can get what's his face from joining in. Can Easy Pete do for you? Uh, what about no job? Bad. Welcome. Was a prospect. You were a prospect. Decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the show. Oh, I think I gotta go talk to uh, to Peggy Sue first. Hi there, sticking around. Say no more. I'm in. That's inspiring. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks... I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up... A silver tongue would help. Convincing Ch I don't even give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear, but I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. I'll be waiting. All right, so we got a bunch of people we got to convince. I think. Easy Pete. Howdy. Too dangerous. Want to kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the... Yep. Got the explosives. We'll go talk to Trudy because she's still walking home. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. That does sound like a good plan. 
All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. Yeah, yeah. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need. Yeah, be let's get done. There. We got Trudy. Now we got to go to the general store. I think I'm going to fail this one. You looking to buy some supply? Now just hold on. Fine, here's a thousand That's caps. More like it. And do. Get as much back as I can. Uh, then. What a douche. Hmm. <coughs> Goodness, I cannot stop coughing today. Pleasure doing business with you. Mm -hmm, Take it easy mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. So I've got Chet. I've got everybody on board. I got to get Doc Mitchell to give up some medicines. Need to save. Shit. What am I doing? I'm get myself killed. I didn't save since I was level one. I already leveled up. Door to Doc Mitchell's house. Where you at, Doc? There he is. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Nope. <clears throat> well, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. You take care now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do believe we have recruited everyone we could possibly recruit. Turn to Ringo and let him know that Sunny Smiles has agreed to help fight the Powder Gangers. I do believe that is all the people you can recruit. We have uh, done it. We go to Ringo. We will have armored up people with stim packs and goodies. I got my 10 millimeter ready to rock. And we're about to piss off the powder gangers. Ooh. Hey there, Ringo. So what's going on? It's not Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. All right. Let's do this. I hope. Time to look alive. The pa They're getting set up in cover, but it might not go well unless we get at least six. Joe Cobb and Oh, Easy P came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the <laughs> Let's start with the fun. Well, that's got the worst range on it ever.
I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically crimson. You're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan. I will, buddy. I will. 20 gauge round. Who you at, Joe Cobb? Take that. Anyone died? Hello. We did it. That was somewhat easy. <clears throat> yeah, that that uh, one explosion <laughs> really did help out a lot. Desperado cowboy hat. Let's put that on. Forget what buttons do what. <laughs> I still don't know what buttons do what. Mm. Yeah, keeping that explosive stuff ready to go was worth it. But we need to uh, get back out of our ten millimeter pistol. We need to save. We completed the first major quest. That ought to keep things settled for a while. Keep right, your gun yep. handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned wasteland critters like to move in when sun is not looking. Yup, yup, yup. That'll teach the powder gangs to avoid good springs in the future. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the school. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at Oh. What's <laughs> that? Well, go ahead and keep the stuff I gave you anyway. It'll be more useful to you than me. Until next time. Yeah, we did it. All right, so I guess it, it really means it's time for us to head out of town. Which I do believe that as far as playthrough goes, playthrough goes, blah, playthroughs go, I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here. We beat the Powder Gangers, and uh, it's time for us to head out of town. Uh, so we're going to pick up right here uh, the next time uh, we decide to play. So we will see you guys then on the Gamers Grid.